Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We're doing a little special segment today. We're doing a, a car ride talk. Now, should we do this completely uncensored, right? That's what the idea is? Yeah, just whatever, whatever thoughts So this is completely whatever uncensored. Are. Whatever comes out, comes out. Not that we're not, we're not really censored in other ones. Well, what kind of you are? I don't yeah, know. A little bit. A little Who knows, bit. dude? Who knows? We're just trying something new out. We're going to be sitting in a car. It's a different change of environment, and it also doesn't kind of bug into our... Our, our our days, you know, that we're you know we don't have to schedule it in. We're we're going out tonight. Mm-hmm. You know, where we're going out tonight. We're not doing some haram, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we're not going out to the club. Uh, you know, some people are out there at the club. It is a Saturday night. We are uh, doing our best to enjoy. Bidnilla, by the permission of Allah. So we're gonna be out here enjoying the day. We're like, dude, let's do the podcast. When we enjoy, our enjoyment comes from Allah. It comes from talking about Allah. It's coming coming from. Uh, enjoyment of Allah SWT So here we are We're doing a podcast Sitting inside of a car And I'm going to turn on the AC But meanwhile Tal, how have you been man? I'm going to get on Allah That's good dude I'm gonna, How have you been bro? I don't know man I never, I never answered that question And uh, I would like to emphasize Because I feel like I have to say this I'm not depressed <laughs> <laughs> I just don't sit here and think How I'm doing I just don't. I just don't do that. We could talk about that in a different podcast because uh, this one's about Ramadan. But yeah, yeah. no, I, I'd never really, yeah, I never really uh, question that. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So Ramadan is starting tomorrow night, inshallah. Oh my God! And this is probably gonna be posting a week late. So uh, yeah. yeah. So this is the this is the Saturday before Ramadan. Tomorrow is the first Tarawi. My God, Allah. What How are you feeling, brother? Oof. Honestly, my first thoughts are the fact that I have a nutrition plan kind of planned out mm-hmm. for my fasting. Mm-hmm. So, inshallah, I am I won't be as dehydrated. Inshallah, I won't be as uh, tired and fatigued and my head, inshallah, won't be aching. So, to be honest with you, every single Ramadan, I always think about those things, mm-hmm. those worries, those concerns mm-hmm. before heading into Ramadan. So, this time, Alhamdulillah, Allah SWT has given me uh, knowledge and given me some uh, aql. Give me some intelligence since last Ramadans, and now I kind of know what to do to inshallah avoid that. So, for me, I'm excited to try out these new things, and I'm excited to see if it makes a positive difference in my in my fasting and my bother in my fasting throughout the whole day, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like you know, there's sunnahs of what we should be eating at Seri. Yes. Uh, two dates and water. Uh, two dates? Why not three dates? I thought everything was odd number. I don't know. I don't know why, why it's two dates. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know that. But I saw a video recently, and it was saying that the reason why the two dates are there is because the dates have some electrolytes in it. Allahu Akbar. So that keeps you hydrated throughout the day wow. instead of just, just water. Mm. Well, that's interesting. What are you looking forward to the most during this Ramadan, inshallah? Man, honestly, I got my work schedule fixed up. Um, wow. Gonna go in at right after Sari. Okay. Uh, skip my lunch, be done at like three, come home. It's all about that schedule, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it's a great schedule. It opens up my day to be able to do more things. Mm. Um, I mean, truly, what I am looking forward to the most is like just having that period of reconnection, right? The the the, the reason why I love Umrah so much, right, is because you get undivided. Mm. Wow. Uh, focus. Why do you think that while. comes out during Ramadan, but not in ordinary life? One, shaitan's getting locked up tomorrow night. My God, you really think that's the biggest, biggest reason? Uh, I mean, that's, that's a huge reason, right? Allah Akbar. Wow. But we have to, we have to realize, shaitan, shaitan's smart. Dude, shaitan isn't working on us 24-7. He, what, what shaitan does is says, he whispers into your ear, whispers into your ear, and then yeah. continues whispering. You start doing the thing, whispers some more. It becomes a habit. And then he says, all right, cool, I'm done. So just because you're sinning doesn't mean like, it's not it's not about shaitan forcing you to sin. You, he, you've, you, you've, n- n- in Ramadan the sins you do are your own. You cannot blame shaitan for them. They're Oof. they're yours. There's nobody whispering in your ear. But he does create that. I 100 percent agree. I mean, Allah forgive us, Wallahi, for our sins. I mean, but I, mean. Uh, I feel like a big part of that is also that he puts that he puts us into the habit of sinning. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I I think one big part of it is shaitan being locked up. Too, it's Inshallah. like there's this, there's this, the good deeds are wow. way, way more. Yeah, right. And the bad deeds wow. way more. Wow. So, oh, shoot, the bad deeds, I did not know that. Oh, stuff for Allah. Yeah, because I mean, you. <laughs> you <laughs> is not funny. Your bad deeds can invalidate Allah. your fast. 
You know, that's a pretty you know, bad there's, thing. There's like uh, a hadith, I think, that says like there's people who will fast, and all they will get out of it is hunger, hunger and, thirst. and thirst. Allah Akbar. So fasting isn't just about hunger and thirst. The reason we're keeping Rosa, the the fur of, of Rosa on us, isn't just to starve and and mm. like dehydrate ourselves. It's wow. for a bigger purpose. So if you're not fulfilling that purpose, you're not you're not doing Ramadan. Right. So what are your goals then this Ramadan? What are you mainly focusing on when you do this? Man, so starting tomorrow night, cut off all music, cut off as much social media as possible, replace that with Islamic videos. Inshallah. Um, with Quran and, and Nasheeds. Uh, music with Quran and Nasheeds. Um, yeah, just, just re- refocus on my salah, get, get better at praying, because praying is an art form, worship is an art form. SubhanAllah. So... Work work on that art form, Alhamdulillah. Allah. Allahu Akbar. What about you? Goals? Yeah, goals. My goals. Uh, bro, I don't, I don't really know. Stuff about, but you're right. You know, I, technically, we're supposed to have goals before you enter anything. Mm-hmm. Have an intention. Have an idea of what you're going to do, a plan. So you can become successful, inshallah. So you're right. Maybe I should have a goal. My goal, man, I'm, I'm just going to do my absolute best to, you know, mm-hmm. live for Allah. You know, just dhikr of Allah reading Quran more you know the translation of the Quran so well, we got we gotta make our goals specific yeah. right measurable yeah. so what is something that in your life that you Islamic that you want to improve on <clears throat> everything bro everything there's not one thing I want to pray mm-hmm. more sunnah namaz I want to have more khushu in my prayer I want to mm-hmm. read more Quran I want to surround myself around more Muslims Mm-hmm. I want to connect better with Allah. I need to know how to make dua better with Allah SWT. So everything is technically like an increase of, you know, mm-hmm. the normal worship that we mm-hmm. do. Yeah, some of the things you mentioned were measurable, right? Okay. Praying more sunnah, right? You're right. Like, you, sunnah, you, 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 can, you can measure that. Allah you can say, Allah. oh, I ha- I didn't pray enough sunnah today. Let me sit and pray ex- extra taravi. Or, hey, let right. me pray tahajr tonight. Or let me right. let me do this, let me do that to make up, to, to not make up, but like to push, right? To, to get that improvement. Um, we are more Muslims, right? You do that by going to the masjid, but you also like, hey, mm-hmm. I want to event, attend events on the weekends, or do this, you know, to to push yourself to the next Absolutely. phase, you know. Um, yeah. so, what, are, what are your fears? What are your concerns? Uh, if you have any, man, Ramadan <coughs> always first few days come out, you know, you're strong, you're hit hitting the stride, yeah. and then it levels out. That's I, I'm. I'm fearful of hitting that level out, and I'm, that's what that's like what I want to try yeah, to avoid. That's pretty much my fear too. My I also have an additional fear is like continuing, continuing sins that you know I would normally do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, low patience level, for example. You know, like um, like come on. You know, like I, I, I'm I'm really hoping I don't do that. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I, overall. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it spiritually. Mm-hmm. Body wise, it takes a bit of a toll. Uh, may Allah have mercy on us. I mean, I mean, so. but spiritually, oh, I'm ready to connect with Allah. It feels like there's like a like cord, and I'm connecting it with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Like, oh my God, where have you been, Ya Allah? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. he's been here all the time. I never felt like he was gone. Alhamdulillah, I don't mean, but during Ramadan, bro, we can always, 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 always get closer and closer and closer and closer to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So, mm-hmm. yeah, man, honestly, dude. One of the best in Ramadan is the fact that we have 30 days to build new habits and break old habits. Mm, facts. Like, and, I'm make it easy. Yeah, honest. I mean, 30 days, not doing something that you used to do for 30 days. Yeah. I mean, that that's definitely that definitely changes your ability to to, to make that change afterwards, right? Yeah, man. I wonder where we're gonna be, inshallah, in the future if Allah continues to guide us. I wonder where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has that vision for us, inshallah. Or inshallah, that understanding inshallah. of, you know. Yeah, I mean, what, well, if, what, what if we become alims or students of... Students, students of um, you that, think that? You think we can get that? Dude, we're, we're 28. <laughs> you know how much life we have left in us? Oh, <sighs> my God. Like my dad had a friend who became an alim maybe five, seven years ago. <laughs> wow, dude. You know, it just, it's, it's, it's about seeking knowledge, right? And wow. if that's where we want to be, we got to work towards it. Allah well, Akbar, man. Can I share this one thing before uh, we cut this? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <sighs> I was giving dawah uh, mm-hmm. 
No, sorry. Oh man. Uh, let me let me uh, restart that. You don't have to cut that out, but let me restart it just because I'm trying to be funny a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to cut it out. So I'm talking to this female, right? <laughs> I was talking to this female, mashallah. Obviously, I gave it away. I was giving dawah, you know, around, you know, whatever. I was doing this event thing. I was giving a dawah, and she's a, you know, she's a black Muslim, mashallah, and a younger woman. And I was telling her about Islam, and she was Christian, right? Mm-hmm. Telling her about Islam, how we believe in one God, and I'm just going to it. It's, for us, we, you know, like a bag of our hand, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi Quran reveals a certain way, blah, blah, Not blah, 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 but, you know. And, dude, you just, 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 just the look on her face, she was... She, wallahi, she looked like she was at home. Wow. And her mom's sitting behind her, and her mom, everything I was saying about what Islam believes, she, her mom wasn't Muslim either. Her mom's Christian. She was agreeing with everything I was saying. And beautiful event, mashallah, they put like a hijab on the daughter and a hijab on the mother. Oh, I didn't, mashallah. Oh my God, bro. They looked at themselves. They got so happy, started taking selfies of themselves. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw, I saw white women outside with hijabs on. Wallahi, so beautiful to see. Wow. So beautiful to see. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so it, I would just look talk, telling her just the basic of Islam, the, the foundation, not the deep, not the depth of it, and mm. she will lie. She just looks so so much at peace. She, uh, <laughs> I have bits of regret. I'm thinking, oh, bro, she looked like she was ready to take the shahada. I didn't even ask her. I didn't want to push it onto her, right? Mm-hmm. I just will lie. I just want to show her the beauty of Islam. Absolutely. And make her. I just want to, inshallah, you know, I just want to tell her. Put, plant know. that seed and water it a little bit. Bidn Allah for the sake of Allah, and Allah will allow everything to happen the way He wills. May Allah get on the right path. But uh-huh. honestly, me and that brother who was listening and stuff and who was around me, he he was, has like almost no doubt, inshallah, that like she will eventually be guided on the right path. You inshallah, know? inshallah, inshallah. And, and, and all by Allah, obviously. And this goes to Ramadan too. Wow, subhanAllah. Inshallah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I thought that was so beautiful. So beautiful to see. Oh, and then some guy took a shahada today, too. Dude, what? Yeah, he read the whole seerah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi which is so unique. Different ways of finding, different ways of coming to Islam. So unique. He mm-hmm. read the seerah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi He didn't even read the Quran. Allahu Akbar. And he, Allah, think about this, bro. Man. The people who are non-Muslim need to sit there and think. This man, he came to the event ready to take a shahada, not because he read the Quran, but because he read what kind of a man Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was. I mean, this is, I mean, his... Bro, this guy was like 50 years old, black man, and he's reading about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and he's like, this, this, is, this is, has to be a true religion. Wow. <laughs> Allah Akbar, man. Subhanallah. You know, so many people converted Islam back in the day. Because of his character, because oh of... Oh, my God. And man. it's just crazy that even today, people are still converting based on his character. Subhanallah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's a hadith, I think, one of the wives of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I need to get these names down. You know, I know the hadith here and there, mm-hmm. but there you go. She said that to explain who Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, he was the walking Quran. Allahu Akbar. Perfection of the Quran. And mm-hmm. she's like, he was, he was the walking Quran. Allahu Akbar. You know, Allahu that, Akbar. that to me. Allahu Akbar. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, we're supposed to model ourselves after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's a role, role model, yeah. right? Yeah. And honestly, like, as, as, as Muslims, we should all aspire to be walking Qurans, right? What, 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 is, what, is that, what does that mean? To, to me, when I heard that, when you, hearing you say that, to me it meant you are following the Qur'an. You, you are following the Qur'an to a T. And, and because I mean, so much of the Qur'an, I mean, most, like, the Qur'an talks so much about mercy and, and like, this, like, these things that you can apply to normal day-to-day life. Yeah. You know, like when, when, when sorry, just to, I, I want to, yeah, uh, when you said like what did it remind you of, like when you walk in Quran, I was thinking elegance, I was thinking uh, honor, you know, I was thinking all these beautiful parts, and then it's based off of what you're saying now, <laughs> you know. I, 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 it's like Islam is not that it's 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 the it's a way of life. The Quran, the Quran teaches us how to live, and it's all for our benefit, yeah, and it, why. Why is it? Why are we not more inspired to be walking, talking Qurans? Yeah. It, it doesn't mean that we have to like, you know, give revelation. It just means we, <laughs> we have to 
put the crunt into our actions. Yeah. You're absolutely right, bro. Inshallah, that's what we can do this Ramadan. Inshallah. inshallah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, inshallah. Like, read the Quran. Like, wow, like I, 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 I want to, like, inshallah, see how much of the Quran I can read like, within the month. And I, I've tried doing the, you know, whole Quran in 30 days, but it just doesn't stand what works out. But so, so, but, you no, know, I can do half, I think. Inshallah. Yeah. <clears throat> I recommend if anyone has that, that time, read it in English, read it in your language that you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, the Quran is not just about spiritual, right? When 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 we, when we read the Quran like in Arabic, it's it's, it's more for a spiritual health. Mm, true. Um, but let's that also that recitation, that beauty, mm-hmm, that it, yeah. it, it cleans our it cleans our heart, cleans our spirit. Mm, facts. But also, the Quran is knowledge, mm. and we should seek that knowledge. Yeah, and it's also Allah talking to you. Like, yeah, you get knowledge, but you also get so much insight that you wouldn't normally think. Mm-hmm. It's not just like do this, do that, do this, do that. Like when you read it, there's stories that are, that make you just sit there and ponder and just blow your mind. Oh my God, Allah Akbar! Oh, that's a nice cheap. That is. Oh my God, Allah Akbar! Yeah, may Allah make this Ramadan easy for us, and please may Allah spend a lot. A lot of the Muslims around the entire world who are being oppressed to be helped, to be um, at peace, and mainly, first and foremost, to be firm on their deen so that they never give up in the, in the mercy of Allah and they never give up hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen, ameen, ameen. 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 Also, make dua for us. Allah. Yeah, man. Make dua for me. Make dua for me, inshallah. Make dua for Taha. What do you want to make dua for? Is there anything yeah. specific? Uh, yeah, it's just, just that, you know, Allah, Allah makes make this Ramadan and, and our goal to become better Muslims easy on us and, and guides us to the straight path. Amen. May Allah accept all of our all our good deeds. May Allah want to purify all our intentions. I just said that first, technically. May Allah want to purify all our intentions and allow us to do every single thing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Wallahi, even taking sips of water I want to do fee sabilillah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah allow it to be easy for that to be the case for me and for everyone else who's watching and all the Muslims around the world you know that would be amazing I mean the du- 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 dua is is, is is so important like, you know in Ramadan make sure you don't skip out on dua Allah Allah Akbar Allah Akbar all right, well, guys, have a good Ramadan. <sighs> that was a good talk, man. <laughs> okay, bro. It really was. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Got me weak, bro. Hmm? Got me weak. Well, subhanAllah. Okay. Say your goodbyes to, to the folks. All right, all right, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, bro, we ain't got no sisters watching us. We got, yeah. I know we got some sisters. No, no, we do, dude. You, you, we, can, we can see on the little things. There's sisters. You been watching that? Huh? I, I looked at it the other day, yeah. From where? What platform? Uh, TikTok. Watch, guys, follow on TikTok. What the fuck are you guys doing? Watch us pull, pull up on TikTok, bro. We got short lessons there. I know you guys watch on YouTube. Uh, may Allah bless you for it, you know. Watch it on TikTok, bro. Get the short bursts of uh, Iman going on, bro. <coughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.